you know, people's always asking me, and I get to ask this quite often. They ask me, why is your seat so high? Why is your seat so high? It's supposed to be. That's the proper height for me. You adjust it according to how long your legs are. Why it's so high? Now, if I would lower that seat, I would lose efficiency and I would lose speed. That's the proper seat height for me. Now, you're saying to yourself, Oh, I couldn't uh, ride a bike with a seat that high. Well, if it's adjusted to you, you can't. And if you ride, if I would lower that, I, like I just said, I lose speed and efficiency. That's the proper height for me. And most, 99% of people ride too low on their seat. It's all in the stroke when I pedal, when I pedal with proper seat height, when I pedal, I get complete strokes. Complete strokes equals higher efficiency and speed. Now here, here's the, here's the beautiful thing. Here's the beautiful thing about the, a design or a bicycle. Hit, they're just enough. It's, they're just enough resistance when you ride that it works. It builds. That's what, that's, and people don't get a bike wrong. A bicycle is not hard. Bike riding, it's not, a bike is not designed, not designed to be hard. It's just demanding. It won't hurt you to break a little sweat, but it's not hard. People gets the wrong idea. Now, I had to learn all this, too. I learned this back in 1988. I've been riding for 32 years. 1988, I went to a library and got a complete book on bike riding. And I wondered, how could I increase my speed and my efficiency? Because my car was hard on gas. I was wanting something a little alternative. So when I didn't have money to put gas in my car, I could choose the alternative. Proper seat height. It worked. I could I could put a speedometer. I ain't got one now. I could put a speedometer. Sorry for this traffic noise. I could put a speedometer. Uh, with a proper seat height, uh, anywhere from 38 to 43 miles per hour. If I lower that seat, 20. If I lower that seat, I'll get about 20. You got to keep proper seat height. That's proper for me. That's not too high. That's not too high. That's that's perfect. I get perfect strokes when I pedal. If you would do the same thing. Now you may not have to go that high. But a slight bend in your fully extended legs you you go your height that's my height your height will be more or less accordingly how has however long your legs are but you need that height and yes you can ride your height in seat height it may not be like this it may like i say maybe shorter maybe higher but that's a proper way to ride a bike and how efficient is a bicycle? Remember, it's not hard, it's just demanding. Uh, it's just enough resistance. That's what's beautiful, beautiful, wonderful about a bicycle. Just enough resistance where it works, where it works. Uh, I rode to Kings Island three or four years ago, 42 mile round trip. And the most I went in one day was 1991, 1991, 79 miles, yeah. 79 no it did it won't kill you a lot of people it's not hard folks when i got 79 when i got to my destination of 79 miles i wasn't dead tired 
I was tired. I actually had more. I was a mix of energy and tired. But a bike's not designed to be hard. Anybody can ride that distance. It just may take you longer. But you'll still have efficiency. Trust me.